In this week's Retro News, Hulu is bringing back Pinky and the Brain with new episodes. Also, there is a Doogie Howser reboot that is in the works. And, woo! Ric Flair has a biopic that's being made by The Rock. And we have a lot more cool news to talk about, so don't turn that dial. Uh. <laughs> the amazing teenage genius Doogie Howser, he's going to be getting a reboot series over at Disney+. Plus. But this time, it's going to be a female who's going to be leading the role as a 16-year-old Doogie. And for those that never saw the show back in the 80s and 90s, basically it's a coming-of-age show about a teenage genius who was a board-certified surgeon by the time he was 16. Really fun show, and it stars a young Neil Patrick Harris who's also in the 2005 show, How I Met Your Mother. This new series is going to be called Doogie Kealoa, MD, and it's going to take place in Hawaii, and it's going to center around a 16-year-old half-Asian, half-white girl girl who works as a doctor. Now the reboot is actually in development but there is no release date for the reboot yet. So I want to know what is your thoughts on this brand new reboot uh, news and having a female lead in Hawaii. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. Of all of the cartoons out there that have tried to do something as special as what the Looney Tunes did, I can only think of two cartoon casts that come even close. The Animaniacs and definitely Pinky and the Brain, and my favorite of the two definitely was Pinky and the Brain. What are we gonna do tomorrow night? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Which, it was just announced that on September 14th, 2020, both Pinky and the Brain and the Animaniacs are gonna be coming back to Hulu. Since they're coming back on Hulu, you guys who might be big fans out there, you might wanna think about getting a Hulu subscription. I'm actually thinking about doing it myself. It's been more than two decades since the show aired though, so it's gonna be interesting to see if the Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain are gonna be able to recapture that same whimsical magic that it once had. But I'm already all in on this and I cannot wait till September. But the good news is that the voices of Wacko, Yakko, and Dot, and Pinky and the Brain, that they are gonna be returning, so that's pretty reassuring. Then if you love 80s wrestling, you are gonna love this news. Um, a Ric Flair bop, it gets actually in the works, and Dwayne Johnson's production company, uh, Seven Bucks Productions, they're going to be making it. And if you are a huge fan of the Nature Boy Ric Flair, woo! Flair's career actually began with the American Wrestling Association in 1972, and he came on the professional scene with some other greats like the Iron Sheik and Andre the Giant. Ric Flair became a name for himself as a wrestler to watch out for. And before long in the WWF, they came calling for him. And Ric Flair joined the company in 1991 and went on to be one of the biggest superstars for the WWF. And I guess the WWE as well. If you want to find out more about the Ric Flair bio biopic, biopic, whatever you want to call it, I'll link to the podcast where you can learn more about the story down below. There's also a docu-series that's being made on the cable channel Epics that's about Charles Manson, and I'll link to that below as well. And just one more really cool documentary that I want to remind y'all about is that on April 19th, there is a new 10-part documentary series about Michael Jordan and the 1990s Chicago Bulls that's going to be coming on ESPN, so look out for that as well. And then in a new segment that's called How I Did Not Know About This, I Have No Idea. But I did not know that in 2013, there was a Rambo game that actually came out. It was a culmination of the first three Rambo movies. And I'm thinking about buying this game. So if you've ever played it, let me know what you thought about it down below. Next up, if you want to own a exact replica of the Batmobile from the 1966 TV show, there is one up for sale that belonged to WWF commentator Jerry the King Lawler. They're actually asking $110,000 for this bad boy, but I will link to the auction down below. And speaking of kings, check out this fan art that was made of Tiger King's Joe Exotic as a G.I. Joe action figure. Um, I'm watching the show right now, so no spoilers. Then while we're all in isolation due to this dang corona, why not get in shape with some old vintage workout videos? Mashable.com, they did an article on seven vintage workout videos that you might want to check out. And if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I will see you in the next video right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.